Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Oh My God, your head's gone, and today what I want to talk to you guys about is the NASCAR debate. Uh, whether or not people are going to be getting banned for these modded NASCARs and, and just all kinds of stuff like that. So first off, I want to state my opinion on the NASCARs. I think that they are a great idea. I think they're a great concept, and I can definitely see them coming up in some future DLC. Definitely, maybe a car DLC in the future, where uh, with that car DLC, they'll actually release the NASCAR upgrade for cars across the board on Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, and then everyone could have NAS on their car, and I think that would be a really fun thing for them to add into the game. I think it would spice up races for sure, and, to, and it would just be overall a enjoyable thing, and once everyone could have it, it would then, again, be a fair upgrade, and we wouldn't be having this issue that is is going on right now basically if you guys do not know what a NOS car is it is a car that has been modded into the game through either a USB mod or a modded console like a JTAG Xbox and it has a kind of speed boost uh, upgrade to it something that you otherwise cannot get into the game it obviously mimics nitrous oxide or not so it is a massive advantage to players that have it in races it essentially has made races completely unplayable right now if another person has a NASCAR it, there's pretty much no chance of you beating them because it's just such a massive advantage and and that's really the big issue with it now I know what you guys are wondering heads gone am I gonna get banned for having a modded NASCAR in my garage that is a good question guys there has been a picture floating around the Grand Theft Auto 5 community for the last couple of days and there's speculation that it is fake, speculation that it is real. Honestly, in my opinion, I do think it is fake. But just in case it is real, I'll go over the details of it really quickly. Basically, Rockstar's just said, if this is real, that they are going to be removing modded cars uh, from everyone's garage after the next patch update. And potentially, they're going to be banning anyone that has one. So, in my opinion, it's obviously better to be safe than sorry. If you guys have one right now, I'd probably just sell it, get it out of my garage, and just not have to worry about that. I wouldn't want that hanging hanging over my head when I was trying to play Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. The potential possibility of an incoming ban would probably drive me crazy. But anyways guys, do not get me wrong, I love the concept of NOS cars, nitrous oxide cars. I think that they would be an amazing addition to Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. And obviously if modders are able to get that upgrade on those cars, I would think that it is somewhere already in the code. So uh, I would assume that Rockstar at least is now, now that they've seen this kind of nitro upgrade uh, mod going around, that they probably have that planted in their heads. And it's something that they're thinking about in the future for potential. Potential DLC. I think it would be amazing if they released a car DLC and along with that they released the NOS upgrade for all the cars across Grand Theft Auto 5 Online and this way it would be fair and everyone would have it and the game would be balanced again. No more game breaking NOS. But anyways guys that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button and if you guys are new to the channel subscribe and lose your head today. You guys can no longer have a head. You can be part of the head gone army. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go.